So all of our maths topics, as you go into getting into the harder topics, all revolve around knowing the order of operations. And we in Australia know it as BIMDAS. Um, It is sometimes known as BODMAS and it is sometimes known as PEMDAS, especially if at any point you're looking at um, American websites, they learn it as PEMDAS, whereas here in Australia we tend to use it as BIMDAS. And it stands for Brackets, Indices, Multiplication, Division, Addition and Subtraction. And you'll see here that I've split them into sections. So brackets are by themselves, the indices are by themselves, but then multiplication and division are together. And that's because they're interchangeable. Um, The order of them, the order that you do them in actually just goes as left to right. And it's the same with addition and subtraction. We just work left to right if there's addition and subtraction together, or if there is multiply and divide together, we just do the question left to right. It doesn't need to be one before the other. So I've done up quite a few examples of this, and I'll just show you how I would normally um, teach it on the whiteboard. So the first example we've got is 13 plus five times two. And I always ask, do we do addition before or after multiplication? And we go back to BIMDAS, multiplication comes first. So it means that we are doing 5 times 2 first. So what I get the students to do is cross out 5 times 2 and write the answer above it. So then they know when they're writing their first line of working, they keep everything in order. So we'd have 13 plus 10 to give us 23. The next one, do we do division or subtraction first? It would be division, and it means we, again, cross out 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so then we know to write it as 20 take away 5. We keep it in the order that it was written in the question. So 20 take 5 is 15. Then we come to something like part C, where there's brackets involved. So even though we've only got an addition and a multiplication and normal BIMDAS says we do multiplication before addition, this one is different because there are brackets and in BIMDAS brackets come first. So it means that we need to do 4 plus 3 first. So we cross out 4 plus 3 and we write 7 and then we can do our line of working as 7 times 2 which will give us 14. Part D, again, a little bit different. We've got a power, okay? So indices are also known as powers or exponents. So you would have to do the power before you do the addition or the multiplication. So the first step is 5 squared would be 25 because it's 5 times 5. So we would have 25 plus 3 times 2. Now we have our first line of working done. And then we can decide, it's just like example A, where we do the multiplication first. So 3 times 2 is 6. So we would have 25 plus 6, which would give us 31 as our answer. The next example is just multiply and divide. So if you follow BIMDAS, it says to do multiplication first. However, if we go back to that starting screen, it says that multiply and divide are in the same channel, so they're in the same section, which means we can do them in any order. So we just work left to right. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we would have 3 times 5, which would give us 15. Part F is the same, but it's to do with addition and subtraction. Again, they're in the same channel, so we just work left to right on that. So 16 take 9 is 7, so we would have 7 add 4 to give us 11 as our answer. Part G, we've got a power, a subtraction, and a multiplication. So in our BIMDAS, indices come first, so the first step would be to work out what that is. So that's 3 squared, which is 9, 3 times 3. So we would have 25 take away 9 times 2. Then we have a subtraction and a multiplication. B 
BIMDAS tells us we do multiplication before subtraction. So 9 twos are 18. We would have 25 take away 18, and that gives us 7. Part H, there's a quite a bit involved here. We've got two sets of brackets, and then within a bracket, we've also got a take, sorry, a, a multiply and an add. So the first step is to do the brackets. So straight away, we know that 5 times 2 is 10. We can do that one. So we're going to have 10 take away something. Now, within this bracket here, I'm just going to change colors to do this bracket. Within this bracket, we've got a multiply and an add. Now, according to BIMDAS, multiplication comes first. So we would do 3 times 2 first to get 6. And then we can do 6 plus 4. So 6 plus 4 is 10. So 10 take away 10 gives us 0. And just for the last two examples for this video, I just wanted to show you how two questions that have the same numbers and look exactly the same can be very different. So the first one we don't have any brackets, but the second one we do. So we've got 12 divided by 2 times 3. Now, when we're doing just division and multiply, again, we work left to right. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. So for the first one, we end up with 6 times 3, which gives us 18. However, when we do the second one, we can't just do 12 divided by 2 first because the bracket is around the multiplication. And what that means is we have to do that multiplication first. So this time we're going to do 2 times 3 is 6. So then our working out is actually 12 divided by 6 to give us 2. So even though the two questions there had the same numbers and the same operations, you get two very different answers because one has a set of brackets in it and the brackets have to be done first. It's important that... Um, students have an understanding of the order of operations because it does help you the whole way through your mathematics in high school and also out into the real world.